Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Uh, I need to get this smile off my face because it's actually kind of a bittersweet day. We have been in Westeros since basically what, December? Yeah. Because we started out with Game of Thrones, man. Obviously go check it out if you haven't, what are you doing? It's been a ride, man. It's been such a political roller coaster, and I'm really loving the show. I guess after today, we're taking a break from Westeros. Yeah. Yeah. Or Planetos, whatever, yeah. you know, whatever you want to say. So thank you guys for tuning in. Like, comment, subscribe, turn on the notification bell, do the thing, all that good stuff. Hit us up on Patreon. Let's go. Let's go. All right, guys, this is about to be crazy. Let's Rem go. Remember I told you it was weird, though, that Ulf was riding in King's Landing when he was in Dragonstone? Right. I didn't get that. I felt like it was a tunnel, but I could be wrong. Let's we'll see what's different. This It's now doing season two stuff. Oh, yeah, no. That's what I'm saying, though. Something has to... Right there. Oh, they're... Who's that? Vagar? Uh, no. Nah. Vagar's... Maybe. It was a big dragon. Oh, Sea Smoke? Oh, the Bronze Fury? I can't tell. Hmm... You tricky little tapestry. Where is this? I love it though. <gasps> oh, it's Bran. A ship per man. I could not produce such a coin, even if I wanted to. Again, you plead poverty. It is hollow stuff from the mouth of a Lannister. Break the blockade and it will benefit you. We sell where we please, blockade or no. Essos is as rich. It is fast. It They're seems Nessos. you need us more than we need you. Is that a Targaryen? Give us the stepstones. Hardly a sacrifice to the lords of Westeros. That's it, not true. Those rocks have been disputed for a generation. Since Viserys. You were pirates. They the were going ships, them. Taken slaves, cargo. Give them to us outright if you prevail. And all that will cease. We will impose a simple tax on those passing through. Recoup the losses we took fighting the Valarian hordes. Extortion. You will drive up the price of basic goods. It is better than starving. Dang, he can just make those decisions? The Prince Regent may have me hanged for this. But the Armada we said now. <laughs> you can topple the Prince Regent and sit the Iron Throne yourself. A Lannister? Uh, of course, there is one more condition. Oh, I was rather set on a bath and flagon of wine. The commander <laughs> of our fleet must agree to go with you. His name is Lohar. The sailors are fiercely loyal to him. If, if he does not lead them, they will not fight. Very well. Let us meet this commander then. <laughs> Oh, geez, who is this character about to be? Lohar? That's their names. What oh, are those people fanning on a good job, are they? No, they're this just like... This is Tyler Lannister of Castle Rock. Well met, Lord Tywin. Oh, she looks like an Assassin's oh. Creed character. Mm -hmm. It's Tywin. What sort of man are you? I beg your pardon? A poet. I am the master of ships at King's Landing. You're thin. But also tall. I will not sail with a man who cannot best me. At, at what? <laughs> She kind of looks like uh, Eamon. A little bit. Speak of the one-eyed devil. Who'd you just torch? Some rum wouldn't go miss. Just a little. Dang, I feel You're so a bad for him. Oh, wow. Here he goes. A not so good man. We must leave King's Landing quickly, and we will not return for some time. What? The Why? pretender has found three new riders for her dragons. Oh, the there pretender. You go. That's impossible. Your brother thought the same. He flew to challenge her and was rebuffed. Fled in terror, from what I hear. It is ours, no less. He has gone in fury to Sharp Point. And That's where he burnt to down. The the sharp town. Point. She really did it then. I fear so. so. What was the fucking point in all this then? The gods are cruel, but I hope you can see the urgency. No, I am the king. Why must I run? Because the Prince Regent is going to kill you. That's what mm -hmm. I've been predicting, obviously. You were in danger before, and mm. now he is thwarted and he is angry. Take me to my throne, and once he returns, I shall take him prisoner. When Rhaenyra descends on you with her seven dragons and you without Vagar, what then? It's over. Check me. I have, over the years, in anticipation of little bumps in the road, moved the greater part of Harren Hall's gold reserves to the Iron Bank in Bravos. We can live. Well, dang, he's remain been until what is coming. Has yeah, passed. exit strategy. Yeah, him and Aegon, like, <laughs> what a great duo. The Cane Bros. You want to take me to Essos to live with the goat fuckers. Jeez. Just to live, I think. <laughs> However, you do it. My dragon is dead. Mm. I am burnt and disgusting, and I'm a cripple. You're not alone. My c is destroyed. Did they tell you that? Burst in the flames like a sausage on a spit. Do not despair your grace. Did that hurt you? Mm -hmm. Better days ahead. Let your brother and the pretender destroy themselves in blood and bitterness when they are spent and their armies in tatters. We will return and the people will rise up to meet us. They will be tired of endless deprivation and fear 
They will hail the returning king, his father's true heir, Egon the Victorious, risen from the ashes. Egon I mean, the yeah, that's a story to tell. <clears throat> Egon the Rebuilder. You said pick a narrative. Now, whatever you want. Egon the Realm's Delight. Mm -mm, that one's taken. That's familiar. Yeah, that one's. That was Rhaenyra, right? Yeah, but that was when she was like a little, little right, girl. Right, from early on. Like, that's that season one, episode two. She's still looking for that dragon, huh? <laughs> she looks so unprepared to be out there. But there we go. I'm really glad she found that little river right there, that little stream. She's scaring me, though, because if she just tries, if it doesn't want her, it just burns her. No one knows. I know. I think if she finds a dragon, though, she's going to take that thing by the horns. <laughs> what are you doing here? Remove your feet from the table. I'd rather not. Oh, <laughs> it's not up to you. Who's it up to, then, boy? He is the Prince of Prince Joseris Valarian. Prince Joseris Valarian. Right here. Oh. He lives here. I'll have an apology from you. Oh, the young prince. Look at that hair. Hey, he's pissed. It's dark as they say. Let them oh. tell us we don't have Targaryen blood. Eh? You and I cut from the same cloth. Dang, he's... I wasn't expecting this from him. Forgive him, my prince. He's not much used to the manners of court. Or any manners at all, I'd say. Do you know what has happened this last hour? The so-called Prince Regent has burned Sharppoint down to its stones. Thousands of its folk, dead or lost, its harbor in ashes. Will you prepare to face such an enemy? Yeah, with your feet you on the table. You our efforts through sloth or unreadiness. I will see you hanged and your body fed to the dogs in the street. I, I meant no disrespect, my prince. You say, you know what? I'm going to keep my foot on the neck of all these bastards. I'm going to be king bastard around here. <laughs> king B. <laughs> I'm the King B up here. <laughs> hey, that's a good nickname. <laughs> king B. The new riders are a boon to us. Now the deed is done, I cannot erase my doubts. We know little of who they are and what is the strength of their character. Adam of Hull, at least, is known to you. Something like that. It's reported to me that he is a man of integrity. Another one of them I've there. had little to do with him. Bees. To my regret. The beasts have been claimed. You now have a great advantage. You must strike quickly while the Prince Regent mulls his next action. I had hoped my advantage may be in deterrence. Vagar has ever been our foremost threat, and she is now overmatched. Vagar is not his only dragon. The third brother is untested. He's never left Old Town. And his dragon is younger than Vermax. But a dragon nonetheless. And you forget another. The Unclean. Helena. She does not ride. She has no taste for it. She may yet be compelled. And her dragon. Dreamfire. Hatched when the Conqueror was king. So it's an old one? She is formidable. Still, Helena is no warrior. Aemon thought himself invincible. He will be angry desperate. He will not stop at burning sharp point, and he will not be denied. You speak truly. How goes the sea snake? Better than you. We'll rejoin the blockade on the morrow. Let oh, our foes cool. beware, be they Lannister or Greyjoy. My ship is no longer the sea snake. I've given her a new name. What? Queen who never was. Aww. Stop it. No. Willis, I thank you. Kind of a slap to Rhaenyra. Slightly. That's okay. What I do but now. so sweet. I do for her. You are ready. You have six dragons under your banner. My ships sail at your command, and my men serve you. But the Lannisters are marching, and the High Towers from Old Town. You must crush this beast at its head, and before too many days have flown. Another player that is yet to be revealed. Your Grace, a ben? word. It seems That's what you always sheep hope on our when they play it. has been sold up river. My vassals have sent a drove of swine instead. Hey, look how many people there are. Pigs, I assume. Practice prefers them. How goes your master? We'll be ready to Driving march in two days' time. See to those pigs. Sir Alfred Broom has come to see you. <laughs> Interesting. I am sent as an emissary from the Queen. You've arrived just in time to see my new army. What do you think of it? It's very large. <laughs> Lannister hesitates. I end March on King's Landing before he can catch me. May I have a word in private? I like this new name. Back in charge. <laughs> Honestly, with you. I'd expect nothing less. I was faithful to the King. Your brother. I pledge my banners to Rhaenyra, his heir. <laughs> I will never serve the usurpers or the whelps of Old Town. But there are battles to be fought. And in times like this... Did you see, your, see it said traitor? Did you hear something? This place will have you barking at the moon. <laughs> <laughs> We're doing well, stuff you with your mama. An army, Rhaenyra has faltered, turning aside from our judgment and taking a course I myself deem reckless. But you are a leader of men. If you declare yourself, your lords will follow you. I never took you for a turn cloak. Rhaenyra's intentions are good. Yeah, so let her, let her lead and then you just lead the army. But what we need in this moment is a king. Bruh. <laughs> He really feels that way. He's at the councils like that the whole time. I mean, if he's going to be with Rhaenyra, he might as well be the king, right? He can be the king. Consort, the KC.
He just can't accept the KC part, the C part of it. Is that traitor? It appears that the pretender sent both said traitor. to collect those among the small folk who believed they had any drop of Targaryen blood. Deception and subterfuge. Cowards, all of them. Put an end to this madness. Let no vessel come or go from our harbor without our inspection. This will hinder the work of the fishing boats. The people depend on them for sustenance. They will need no sustenance if they are slaughtered by the enemy. We must all make our sacrifices. Why does everybody hate us? They're unhappy. And unhappy people look for someone to hate. Not quite. <laughs> we didn't order the blockade. But we are the crown, so they expect us to break it. I was happier before I was queen. So was she. For sure. What would you think about leaving this place? Where would I go? That's what I was wondering. The Prince Regent, Your Grace. Helena, there you are. I was just going to bed. The crown has need of your service. Now. The pretenders raise new riders against us and I need you to fly with Triumphire to battle. I do not wish to fight. Our wishes must take second place now. That's kind of crazy. It's necessary to preserve the throne. He was like, saddle up, girl. Anyone. They have defiled our birthright, I made ain't. commoners into dragon lords. It is a sin and must be banished. May I oh. remind you, your sister is still the queen. As you were once. Miss, we are in peril today more than yesterday. Is it peril that moved you to burn the town of Sharp Point? Peril or basis fury at your own humiliation? Yeah, he has like an embarrassment problem. You wish to rule yeah. the ego problem. But you rain ruin and death upon its small folk when you've been insulted because it makes you feel strong. And now you seek to corrupt your sister of all our line, the gentlest and most deserving of your protection. Who will protect her if she cannot protect herself? And who will she be if her mind is broken? It is no longer our rule that is threatened. Very lives, would you not have us prevail? Not like this. The pink dread really got to his butt. Not like this. What's very interesting about the <clears throat> scene, guys, is his character, Eamon, has had such a low dialogue this whole entire series that the octaves that his character was asked to hit right there, just in like the verbiage that he was using, showed a whole different sound of his voice i didn't even know existed this is the first time he's like raised his voice like that or right. anything so where he seemed where crazy. he was like forceful in any type of way because he he's kind of seems like nice to everybody well he didn't even know. he does well like to helena well yeah so, he was nice yeah. to helena yeah that's why i was shocked because i always felt like they, they had were a team or something because he yeah. never yeah but nah he can just tell her what to do when he wants i must again request your assistance i need passage y'all ask a lot of them no discretion <laughs> Always. He's at work right now, is he? That's that employee that works like six days a week, <laughs> <laughs> three shifts a day. He's going to turn on them one day. He's going to be like, listen here, I'm team black. <laughs> they require a lot less. Do you think nothing of your oath, uh -oh. Lord Commander? You think he knows? Because he's sniffing Allison's handkerchief. <laughs> Steward, son, from dawn, fucking the queen of the seven kingdoms. Former queen. She has broken no oath for all I may have done. I could send you to the wall. Stay in the high tower name for a generation. King's mother in his hand. She is my sister. She saved my life. Twice. I was about to say twice. Once from the headsman's axe and once from myself. Mm -hmm. That is true. Since then, she has been the beacon I follow. Except Eamon for a second. Remember he did that goofy move where he just told on himself? <laughs> Self-confession. I never forgot about that. never forgot about shame in me, sir. Desire for women has brought me grief after grief. Then resisted. I would that it was so simple. Your brothers in the King's Guard line away. Do they? Dang. Perhaps they do. Or perhaps all men are corrupt. And true honor is a mist that melts in the morning. So poetic. That is a bleak philosophy. I have no philosophy. Or rather, my philosophy was this. You saw what I saw. The dragons dance and men are like dust under their feet. I get it. So he's having regrets because he saw the dragons fighting. And all our mm. fine thoughts He has acted like different since that. Right. Endeavors are as nothing. We march now toward our annihilation. To die will be a kind of relief. Don't you think? All this because he was sniffing a handkerchief. Not to be like that. <laughs> you just have to give, <laughs> give a dark speech. <laughs> Guys, when you're walking by a handkerchief, you just got to resist. Don't sniff it. <laughs> just keep, keep it moving. Look at him cleansing himself he's like a cat he always cleaning something when he's feeling guilty and he's just having like an existential crisis right now he's just like what does it all mean bro? what in the world <laughs> oh <laughs> she just like a little mud wrestling yeah she's gone country <laughs> oh <laughs> <laughs> what oh <laughs> that's thailand ain't it yeah what why did he get involved in this <laughs> She said, I won't follow no man who can't best me. <laughs> you gotta take me to the mud pits. <laughs> oh. 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 The pimp slap. Oh, they ain't playing now. <laughs> He's like, oh shit. <laughs> you have impressed me, Lord Time. King's Landing has sent a most doughty ambassador. You will testify to the worth of the ambassador by agreeing to his most humble request. 
I will most certainly consider it. Consider it? After dinner. Oh, oh I thought that people's elbow was coming. <laughs> have you ever eaten the flesh of your enemies? I have not. And I would not. <laughs> so you reject the hospitality of my house. So their house Dahmer? <laughs> oh, that was a joke. A jest, my lord. With those teeth, that wasn't sure. You take me for. <laughs> No. Just Y'all just mud wrestled. We don't know what the heck's next. Didn't he win? <laughs> <laughs> like, it seems like you lost your zone. But... It does not befit a prince to pout. <laughs> I'm not pouting. And he's over there like, what would you call it then? I'm not poning. I'm reading. While your mother waits. Like he couldn't get the gogurt at the store. <laughs> <laughs> You're angry. We deserve a Zui though. I don't see what good it would do. They are an insult to us. To what makes us Targaryens. If any common lout can ride a dragon, then- That does not make me common. <laughs> a lout. <laughs> you are the crown prince, the son of the rightful queen. And here you are sulking because you believe that if not for the dragon or trappings of your station that you are nothing. Right, shut up. Do you believe that you are the first noble heir who was not sired by his noble father? Such is the way of the world. And in resenting it, you only diminish yourself. Easy enough to say. I've heard the whispers the whole of my life. Then prove to them that you are worthy. Get up and take your place by your mother's side. Reverse psychology. But they low-key were disrespectful to him, putting his feet up and stuff. Ulf was. Yeah, he should have just slapped him. He should have took it out to the mud pit. <gasps> oh no! Look at the mud man. That's where you settle things. Here come my lads. Only in Essos. Family boys and split your sacks ashore. For you'll be sailing, sailing many days before you get some more. So grease the mast and send it. Is he getting haze or something? <laughs> Betwixt the wind and water. Hoist me, lads, and hoist again. Salute the captain's daughter. Well done, Lord <laughs> Tyrod! Why do they keep calling him the wrong name every time? Tyrod, Tymon. They're just trolling him. Dude. This place is confusing Good to me. Good song! <laughs> well delivered! <laughs> it's Thailand. You have proven yourself most accommodating. I will be pleased to sail at your side. A W for the Greens. And my captain is with me. To the gullet on the morrow! Hey, hey. hey let's go. The gullet on and the morrow! You said the gullets are the mullets. the day we meet again. Oh, they want to meet the sea snake again. My king will be well pleased to friendship. He had to take a sailor's hazing. <laughs> Before you go, Lord Tyler. <laughs> Correct. You are a handsome man. You have proven your worth. Great. I wish to have children by you. You want me to? Indeed. I want you to fuck my wives. <laughs> what? <laughs> How many <laughs> words do you have? <laughs> Yeah. Don't go to Rhaenyra. She ain't one of them. Taming a dragon's thirsty work. And some more of these little birds. Rhaenyra's iced out right now. A toast to our new riders. The three of you are not of noble birth, but you have done a thing never dreamed of before now. <laughs> that was awkward. <laughs> I have entrusted you with a power only few have known, and I charge you to take it up with fealty and respect. Serve me well, and I will make you knights of the realm. Knights? Ah. Ooh. What do you think of that, boys? We'll be knights, just like that. We will not fail you, my queen. What must we do? I had thought the mere fact of you might stay the enemy's hand, but Lord Corliss is right. We must strike while we have the advantage and end this war. Learn your beasts and your commands. You will fly in two days' time. Damn! So she's about to just send him in there. But their family is there, some of them. Alone without allies. You will have no choice but to surrender. You wish for us to kill innocent. Right. There's so many. It is hard, but it cannot be helped. We must break the will of our enemy. What about Vega? She is fearsome, but she is one dragon. The Prince Regent cannot defend against all of us. I'll take him on myself. Silver wings are go as she is. <laughs> We're afraid of nothing, even if you are. There will be time enough to see which one of us is a coward. A knight will comport himself with grace at the Queen's table. Best make me a knight then. You forget yourself, friend. Okay, Jace. Sense of humor, do you all good? There is a message from Harren Hall, your grace. Uh oh. Damon's got the army. Damon? The crown army. The Castellan, Sir Simon Strong. Oh, that Damon guy. Damon raised his army. Let's go. But Sir Simon fears treachery. Oh, oh, oh. Always with Damon, right? I will not allow it. Just Harris said, not like that, did he? It's going to be that creepy girl. Ooh. Ooh. Do you never sleep, witch? <laughs> <laughs> 
I'm going to the God's Wood. So you had to go there first? That doesn't look like the way. Yeah, she'd have been disappointed in me. She'd have went by her damn self. I don't want to go to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> what? what the heck? Was that a Baratheon? Or is he tripping? When you came here, you were a closed fist. But you've discovered, I think, that this world will not be governed. That was a crazy way to state it. I guess so. There are omens here for those who seek them. You do not scoff. I'm no longer inclined to. I'm pleased to hear it. Character development. Mm -hmm. Do you wish then to learn what is given to you? We've been waiting a whole season. Let's go. All your life you've sought to command your own fate. But today you are ready. Oh. This is about to be some magical stuff. Who was that in the tree at three hours? Whoa. That was that comment. Yeah. <gasps> Daenerys. Whoa, that's what I'm saying. So he's seeing all this. Wow. So he got to see the same prophecy. <gasps> was that Rhaenyra? Yes. Okay. Ha, ha, ha. Uh, ha, 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 ha. <laughs> like a bird doing that. It's all story. <gasps> Helena, why? And you're but one part in it. You know your part. Mm. He knows his part. Damn, he didn't even have you to smoke that sap. <laughs> he just mm -hmm. had to touch it. <laughs> Went on a trip, boys. So he just saw the long Sister, night. All of it. Or at least a glimpse of blood, it. You and I. I know you wish no harm to anyone, but in a time like this, when the good of the realm depends on us, our mother is not a dragon rider. She cannot understand that you and I have a true occult heat. Come with me to Harrenhal. We will lay waste to Damon and his army. Let her enemies see that we will answer outrage. Is outrage. And if I refuse, will you burn me as you did Egon? Ooh. Yeah, she knows, bro. That is a lie. I saw it. Oh. You burned him and you let him fall. Is he crying? It looks like he is. What you say it's treason. Egon will be king again. He's yet to see victory. He sits on a wooden throne and you, you'll be dead. And she knows because she knows all of it. You were Probably. swallowed up in the god's eye and you were never seen again. I could have you killed. It wouldn't change anything. Damn. Ooh. That's got to break Eamon's heart because, like, who else does he have that's a woman that actually cares about him? And she didn't even, wasn't even really, like, one you could consider except for that brothel lady. And she, she done turned on him. Yeah. He's screwed. I think he's my favorite dragon. Because he's a long neck. Yeah, well, I like Damon, so they just are a cool team. I like Vagar, too. She's cool. Let's go. Isn't it crazy they just run? They don't know like if they're gonna get burnt or not because they're not sure whose side. Yeah, they have no <laughs> idea. I would hate when guests came over. I know. If I was in that castle. I'm like, I'm gonna you up here. I'm the castellan Sir Simon Strong. Welcome to Harren Hall, my queen. I did not think to see you here yourself. Message gave me much concern. Yes, come see for yourself. Oh. Hey, that's like a nice little size army. <laughs> Shouldn't they be kneeling? I'm not certain what, what's even happening here. Your queen just pulled up. They acting more relaxed than people be acting when the manager walks in. Oh, I see. Because Damon's coming by. That's why. Oh, there he goes. He's over there calling himself the king. And they're like married. <laughs> I wasn't expecting you. It seems rather a lapse in foresight. <laughs> I see you have done well here. They are sworn to me. And not a moment too soon. And to whom are you sworn? Oh. The whole point of him going there was to learn to chill, right? Well, to bring up an army in her name so they can have like a, sh and a foot army. Challenge his own ego, right? He's seen it. Mm. Belvilza. The realm's only hope is a leader who can unite it, and my brother chose you. you. Mm. Neil, let's go. Oh my gosh. Okay, so he needed this because he saw the long night. Now he trusts. Yeah, so we officially get to see the rebirth of Damon here. Let's go, Damon. You are the true queen, Rhaenyra. Oh my goodness First gracious. Name, protector of the realm, I am meant to serve you, and all of these with me, until death or the end of our story. Interesting. Well, that was a wholesome W. Thank God. In one year or two years, something like that, we get um, to see Damon not stuck in a haunted house. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but shout out to Alice Rivers, though, because we needed this 
Damon. Ine arli kridruhas se parmurhulias. Had to send Damon over to Agos Don Tabor. There's rivers that make a man out of them. Silutan. My queen. Finally. For every one of us who falls, a hundred of them. There will be no mercy. We fight for our queen. So each one of y'all has to get a hundred kills. Damon said so. I really hope we get to see Lord Corliss on a ship. I know. <laughs> He ain't been on one yet. It's probably going to be like a boss moment. He's probably going to be riding off and it's going to be like. Yeah, absolutely. Or he's going to have a binocular or something. Son for me, Lord Hand. Girls are flying low today. The weather will change. Oh, we're ready the storm sails. We joined the blockade and are like to find ourselves in peril sooner than late. I wish to set out on good terms with my first mate. Have I been remiss in my duties? You've done what is asked of you and more. Just something that doesn't really have anything to do with anything. He said the seagulls are flying low because of all the static electricity in the atmosphere. So they fly low. That's just a very interesting little, you know, piece of history to learn. That's pretty cool. Yeah. Silent. Sailors would use that. And the men that you are curt, silent. And the men find you distant. You cannot lead if you do not inspire. Oh, I never asked to lead, as you well know. You have been given a position to which all who serve here aspire. Forgive me, my lord. I will endeavor to improve myself. Oh, what a soldier. I am trying to help you. Is this the help you offer after all these years? A reminder to be grateful. Oh, he's bitter. I mean no offense. Do you know what it was like for us? Mm. To grow up fatherless? To be sneered upon as bastards? Do you know what hunger does to a boy? What grief does? Or shame? You are dismissed. I saw fish in the market from cold dawn until sunset. And I watched the man who sighed me walk past with his son and heir with the fur around his shoulders. Choosing sweetmeats to eat after supper by the fire. So no child support, basically. And now that boy is dead, and his sister before him, and the other took his place. And now, now, now you remember I live. Yeah, I feel him though, for real. Now you wish to suddenly to scatter the crumbs of your favor. Mm. I am an honorable man, and I will serve you because I must. If it is all the same, I will decline any offers of help. If I survive this war, I'll continue as I began, alone. So he is definitely not going fishing later with his pops, huh? Right. That's that, like, work relationship only. Man, how do you wave that thing down? <laughs> like, what do hey, you do? Hey, come here, let me tame you. <laughs> Better grab a fish or something. <laughs> <laughs> That's why in Pokemon they came up with the Pokeball. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You have done what no one else would dream of. The gods favor you. Look at her with Rhaenyra hair now. They put the means to victory in your Mine's hands. Mine's just a dragon playground. And yet, <laughs> to claim it, I must strike. And in striking, I doom thousands to their deaths. Sounds like uh, I do not believe Daenerys. my father would have wished this. Be strong. You know you are just. You must not let the realm fall to those who care for power more than peace. You must prevail. And who pays the price? The dragons or that single ship out there? <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> the sea life. <laughs> the sea creatures. Begging your pardon, your grace. Better be important. She was asleep. <laughs> I had to see Whoa, whoa, whoa. In her house? Who knows? None save my protector. He laid down his sword at your gate. She's wearing blue again. I've been, I think, mistaken. I was raised to believe there was an order to things, that there was security in following the path laid out for us. I did not know what I wanted. I knew only what was expected of me. Why have you come here? Because I lost my way, or rather it was taken from me. All those I put my faith in, my, my husband, my father, my lover, oh, my son. the incorruptible queen sullies herself with a lover. Do not judge me for what you yourself have done. When Before she was like daughters, 10. I took comfort <laughs> with another. I too have desires. Yes, but you alone made virtue your banner. And I clung to it in defiance of you, I think. You so disdained it. I have been alone of late. Walked outside the walls of the city and I felt a weight lifted from me. How lovely for you. I thought for the first time <laughs> what I would choose, if not for the duty I put before all else. Till you cast your son down and rule alone. No, I do not wish to rule, I wish to live. But as for me, I would take my daughter and her child and leave it all behind. Dang, she'd be willing to give late. up the boys. You said it yourself. Blood has been shed. Cities burned. And you wish to wash your hands of what you yourself set in motion. Oh, the arrogance of blaming me. As if you would not have been challenged regardless. Did not your hand bring it forth like a midwife? I did only what I thought your father wanted. Leave us behind, as you say. Wander in the wilderness. <laughs> <laughs> what has it got to do with me? Did you come here thinking you would be absolved? Hey, she's biting her nails again. Back to her old ways. He never stopped loving your mother, you know. He was very fond of me and I of him, but 
She was the vision that sustained him. His love for her that kept him resolute in his choice of her. And yet you believe he wavered at the end. Just admit that you know he did. Right. And I'm Why really different. Why did you come here? Emma will soon fly to join Cole in the Riverlands. When he's gone, Helena as queen will be the crown's authority. If you come then to King's Landing, I will see to it that our guards throw down their arms. We will open the gates. We will shed no blood. You will enter as a conqueror. <laughs> Already you have the stronger hand. Once you take the throne, this senseless war must end. That's crazy. So she's, she's trying to give her the crown. Right. But the optics oh. of that are bad too. It doesn't matter in her mind. She's Which already... Egg on. Mm -hmm. He's broken beyond recognition. He has many faults, but he still heeds his mother. I believe I can prevail upon him to bend the knee if No, still, you defend him. Still, you imagine you can have all you want without paying too high a price. If I am to take the throne, I must put an end to the opposition. And that's something she didn't even want to do. She only has to, to do, do it now because of Alicent. Yeah, she's being However, pushy. You may try to evade it. You know this. Choose. Oh my. Peace or your son, basically, right? Basically, yeah. Will you shrink from what you set out to do, or will you see it through and make your sacrifice? A son for a son. How can you say yes to that? That'd be hard. Even if Aegon sucks, you know? That's not your son. She just said, yeah. You have much changed. Let us be done with this. Please. And what do I do with you now? You let me go to do what I promised. Then you fly to the Red Keep in three days' time, and you take your throne. Or you take me for a liar. I have neither weapon nor armor. My life itself is forfeit. That's all you can do. History mm -hmm. will paint you a villain. Cold queen, grasping for power and then defeated. Let them think what they must. Dang. I am at last myself, with no ambition greater than to walk where I please and to breathe the open air, to die unremarked and unnoticed, and be free. That's she crazy. just wants to go back to that life she had before she had to go be with Viserys. It's a distant mm -hmm. dream. My part is here, whether I will or no. It's decided for me long ago. They can't end the season like this, though. <laughs> this is not how I pictured their relationship fanning out. I thought it would be pure hate through and through. I thought I was about to see Allison go from, <clears throat> you know, somewhat green to just black and evil. I thought I was going to see Allison go from green to um, burnt. She's re like, I'm talking about her clothes black. No, I was talking about seeing her burnt. I thought that was oh, going to yeah. happen. But she's wearing blue again. But her willingness to just give her sons up so quick, because she's assuming Eamon's going to be out too once this war happens. That's kind of nuts. She recognizes they ain't really worth anything. Please don't die, little girl. They have to end this with Rhaenyra slow looking into the camera, though. Yeah, because that's the, how, or somebody has to. Mm. May, maybe it will be someone different on this one. What if it's a dragon? All right, there we go. Hey, that was the high tower, so that could have been the other dragon, the little one that they keep talking about. Oh yeah, it could be. Dang, you're right about that, yeah. It was the high towers. That's important, and that's the Starks. That's so great. Hold on, those gray, gray bearded dudes? Hold on, let me see. Look. Dang, look. It's good to see them, huh? The best, you know, debatable. For Tyrion's sake, cool. Oh, that's that place he was talking about. And then that's Heron Hall, right? That's what it looks like. <gasps> yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice yeah, 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 yeah. I said, love that up? armor. He said, what's up? We're about to end the season with us. Dang. We got land army. We got dragon army. We got Allison on our side. And there you go. Selling together. Oh, side yeah. by side. He's got some ships. Now he thinks he's cool. Mm -hmm. Nice armor. Even nicer. You still ain't about to see Coralus on a damn ship. <laughs> He's on a rowboat. Oh my gosh. They're doing that on purpose, right? Because when he gets on the ship, it's going to be epic, right? <gasps> oh, hell no. The dragon looks crazy. <laughs> Do it back. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Who's this? Is that Otto? Locked up. It looks like on a ship, right? He looks like the way Jamie Lannister was locked up. Oh, Allison gets some music. Okay. That's that freedom ballad. But who's got Otto? It looked like on a ship to me. I gotta be wrong. Dang, they really did leave. So he's just riding him to power because he's hoping he'll name him heir or something because his penis doesn't work and he can't have kids. Yeah. That's crazy. Or he wants to name him like hand or at least Imagine something, trying something to of use power. Imagine trying to broken penis, penis to your advantage, like scheming your way. <laughs> but that's the Targaryen curse not to have son heirs, it seems. It went straight Dune again at the end, didn't it? Jeez. Guys, that was a good season, man. Y'all are crazy. Guys, what a crazy season that was. I feel like the whole season 
was basically themed around the title of the first episode, A Son for a Son, mm -hmm. because all that's leading up to all those things that were leading up to it, like the thing that's happening right now is basically Rhaenyra is going to, you know, get the crown, but she's going to have to take Aegon. Yeah, that was definitely the straw that broke the camel's back. Yeah, absolutely. So, yeah, man, I think well, the, the season has a couple themes. Obviously, A Son for Son is a huge one. Second Born Sons is a big one. Just uh, Bastards now is huge. Opposites, polar opposites. Like, you know, the show's playing off all those themes a lot, you know. And you can even see with, like, Aegon. Like, he's burnt on the opposite side of his face mm -hmm. because he's, the you know, the opposite of... Viserys. Exactly. Just stuff like that. So, um, a lot of this season was really emphasizing how a lot of people in power, especially the women in this particular series... We're basically trying to, everyone's basically acting like they have free will. Everyone's conducting themselves like they have free will. But mm -hmm. ultimately, the show's trying to portray that, you know, they're all bound by prophecy. So there is no free will. You it's know? just and a that story. Was another, yeah. yeah, kind of like on, um, what was it, Scream? When he's like, it's all a movie, maybe. Yeah. Or something like that, yeah. And so, and I guess in a sense, that it is all a story. I mean, we saw that with Game of Thrones. So, I know, um, Do you think that was just like a little nod to George R.R.? R.? There's like, it's just a story. He's like, hey, yeah, because I wrote it. Mm -hmm. it's already done like well we're we know what happened we're storytelling creatures yeah. it's all about narrative that's why you know you can present someone with like facts and data and it, it doesn't matter but if you get someone a good enough story you can really change your mind so mm -hmm. we all understand that to be true we're story driven creatures honestly it was just like it was a season full of i'm waiting to go to battle i'm waiting to go to battle i'm waiting to go to battle and it's like damn it we really need to just go to battle eventually yeah but right? it's like they were like raising up their sides of the army and like yeah I feel like the pivotal point, of course, felt like dragons for a long time. But then Damon raising that army was also pivotal because now they're like ready to go to war because him raising the army, I felt like was honestly when they're why they're going to strike. But also they just got those dragons, too. So Rhaenyra did her own building because they were just going to rely on what Damon had. But Rhaenyra seeking dragon riders um, made him also strong. And it also made them so powerful that it forced the greens to react. Yeah, it made them get out of themselves a little bit. Mm -hmm. uh, it made Aegon leave. It made yeah Allison come to the black side, which is weird because Allison gets news, you know, and obviously she's been going through her whole entire middle life crisis. But mm -hmm. it makes me wonder all this stuff she's talking about. Her basically coming to the realization of why she, her life ended up the way it did uh, because of duty and all this stuff, and really being honest with herself and her like jealousies and shortcomings. I wonder if she would have made the same choice to. Come to have that conversation had she had not been edged out. Right. You had know she what I mean? been, ha, remember when she had like the whole political speech against um, Eamon? She was like, you know, I took over for Viserys when it like, was. Like, is um, she a good person for learning right. the errors of her ways or did you just get lucky because right. you got forced out and that forced you to like have to see it from a different perspective? It's almost like she got lucky to be forced out because it's like right. it almost saved her soul in a way. Right. Maybe. But it's interesting because, it, you know, based off optics, She's going to be painted as the villain for the rest of the time, basically. Oh, yeah. She's going to be a snake, right? And she didn't care about that. She was like, whatever. I'll lose my sons. Be called the villain. I don't really care. I'm just well, fed up. Well, I think she lost a lot of respect for narrative to begin with because, you know, her whole life was a narrative. You're supposed to do this. You're duty, supposed to duty, do that. Duty, duty, duty. And that's why she hated Rhaenyra because Rhaenyra never really quite seen the value in that narrative. She really, like... I guess in a sense, like had her own ambitions and stuff, and they didn't mm. always have to be like what the narrative was like set forth, what it was supposed to be. And she kept getting off scotch free for things that like right. she wouldn't be able to get away with. So I think Allison's in this position of she's just like, dude, bump your narratives, bump your history books. You know, even if even if the history books paint me out to be the greatest thing of all time, like the life that I've had to live, I don't care. It's not worth it. It's not real. Right. It's all it's all a story. It's all an exaggerated story. Kind of like Jamie Lannister, you know, like at the end of the day, Brianna Tarth was able to write his narrative and because she had a crush on him and because he slept with her and all that stuff and because the history they had his narrative gets to be what it was for the rest of history so. and everyone from then on just gets to know that side of him mm -hmm. right you know if, if jamie would have been two inches shorter it might not have been as good you know? <laughs> <laughs> like his, his history or if, book he had, or if he had red long hair and a beard yeah yeah <laughs> and acting like an absolute brute <laughs> yeah there's that big woman <laughs> uh but i thought the series i thought the the season was awesome man it was just to be honest i'm like dude you know you got all these dragons and i'm just ready to see him like go crazy to be honest but that's obviously like my childish brain i'm loving the politics i'm loving the slow my favorite part about the politics right now and i i don't really love that part too much but i i don't love it because i like both character sides so i don't love their quarrel but i really like how jace is kind of stepping up 
because Jace is like kind of playing the long ball game. Well, he's frustrated. Well, yeah, but he's also playing the long ball game because, you know, Rainier is going to war. And at the end of the day, someone wins a war. Somebody wins it. And Jace has to be sitting there prepared, you know, living with this Targaryen name, checking out old Uncle Damon being a straight, just a monster with the still, right? And then here's Jace <laughs> just sitting in a chamber all day, not able to do anything. Yeah. Uh, so all he really can do is vent his frustrates, frustrations on the new recruits, you know? Right. But, but the it's new funny. recruits don't respect him either because they feel like they're the same as well, him. Well, because they, well, they don't respect him because they invite them in. And, you know, they weren't given those dragons. They earned them. Yeah, that right? is true. The dragon shows them. The dragon shows them. And they're sitting there thinking, like, you invite us in, but... You don't really treat us like we're equal. Like you saw Daenerys, or not Daenerys, she saw Rhaenyra's speech that she gave him. Yeah. She was basically just like, you guys should be lucky you're here. All right, let's eat. Yeah, and she also was like queened out. You saw that? Like she doesn't ever dress like that. She never wears her crown. She never looks too flashy. And she's making sure to separate herself from them in that particular and I, moment. And I feel like they were very mature to stay grounded in that moment. Um, maybe it's because they did you know, gain the dragons and they have all that power so they don't have the ego. Yeah. But it was funny because the same way they were all feeling and the show didn't really elaborate on it, but they did essentially let us know because Lord Corliss and what happened with his son. Yeah. Like the way that he exploded like that. So that's... So him, he was speaking for everybody. Right, he basically. was speaking for every bastard basically in the mm -hmm. show. Yeah. Which is intense. The thing, the only thing I'm not so sure about, which I'm sure it gave us like brief, you know, that person's name was Lahore, but... Tylen basically just gained ships by that. That was basically what the importance there. Yeah. Okay. So basically they have a ship force. So I guess now they have a little something like it's kind of even now a little bit. Mm -hmm. Now they're making moves. So, um, so at this point, Aemon's basically making moves at Harrenhal, right? Well, he's, I think he's joining Christian Cole and they're going, yeah, they're going to try Harrenhal. to attack Harrenhal. Yeah. Uh, Christian Cole has been, an absolute douche this season. <laughs> <laughs> uh, to be honest. He's so like. Annoying. I hate to say that about a character, but he's just not my favorite. Like he's just so. Ever since he just tattled on himself in Allison's chamber, like a. Like honestly, like something Homer Simpson would do. You know he's what I'm psychotic. saying? I don't really like the way they made his character so like they made him so like mentally ill. Like you say one thing to him, he snaps and but, just murders but you. But like at, at, at the end of the day, it's kind of cool though, because now that I'm thinking about it, I'm like, you know, Christian Cole's annoying, whatever. But it kind of shows like how a man he can get power, right? He can become hand of the king, but then dragons get involved and it shatters it all for him. Mm -hmm. He saw some uh, the taste of the dragons and he's like, I'm just a man. Like I'm gonna get burned up the same. Well, he saw those dragons and it seemed like he started thinking a little different. He right. really started contemplating his own mortality because you heard him say that he's going to basically march right to his death. He's basically like just preparing to die. Like that's why like he held on to Allison's little thing. He's like, yeah, this saved my life, but like this is the last time it will save my life because I'm I don't, about to go get dragoned up. I don't really understand what his loyalties are, to be honest. Like if you're Kristen Cole, I guess he just wants to like have a name for himself at the end of the day. Right. But I think he just wants optics to see him as like someone who's worthy. But he's such a catalyst to this whole thing, though. Like he. Yeah. Like, that's what I hate. Like he's so responsible for basically this whole war. But so is everyone. Everyone has a has their little thing to to play in this. Yeah, war. but you can particularly point to Kristen Cole and put. Blame and on you're not him. even a Targaryen. You know what I'm saying? You're just an outsider. That Rhaenyra, a 14 year old, was like. Yeah, let's make him head of my thing because what did you call him? The Dornish Debbie Cake. Because mm -hmm. you're a Dornish Debbie Cake. Come be my uh, guard or whatever. And then he two dollars just... at any gas station or retail store, baby. <laughs> and then he up. just and then he just you know causes like a dang plague in this whole situation. Yeah, yeah, he'd be doing a lot better if he could just keep his thing in his pants, probably. But not when you're handing the king, man. You just gotta do what you gotta do, I guess. But. <laughs> I don't know, man. I'm really excited for the next season. Let me know in the comment section how long it's going to be until it comes out. I'm sure it's going to be like a year. They said two years and um, Patreon. They said they said there's going to be a spinoff with like um, Meister Eamon when he's young. That'd be interesting. Or something like that. And and they said that might come out next year. And then they said the next House of the Dragon episode, season three is going to be in two years, which sucks, you guys, because first of all, they're about to go to war. Like we've been sitting here like. You know, you know when you're just about to cross like a what's those things called a tripwire? 
Yeah. They're like they're like right here on the tripwire. It's like basically like this. It's like in two years we're gonna put on the show and we're gonna be right in the middle of a war and I'm gonna not even remember why. I'm gonna just be like you're gonna be like my parents. Who are those blonde people? But why are they fighting? Yeah, our parents is <laughs> like we tried to watch it, but we just can't keep up. There's too many blonde people. <laughs> They got the same name. Yeah. <laughs> they're goofy, but they, they're doing their best with it, I guess. Like yeah. Maybe maybe when they watch our reaction, they'll understand a little more. But um, Absolutely. So now that we're done with this, though, man, seriously, uh, this show has been a lot of fun. And I really, really, really hate to get off Planetos, honestly, because like, she, like we said in the beginning, man, it really has been a journey we've been on since basically December. So yeah, a really long time, man. But we need to... We need to keep it moving, basically. So we need to figure out another TV show that we can watch. It's going to be hard to fill the void. But we're is, finishing like, Daredevil. Can world. we just say that? <laughs> yeah, we're finishing Daredevil on Patreon, guys. Just so you know. But anyways, that we're not putting that one on YouTube for obvious reasons. But um, we need something else that we can start putting out, you know, for you guys to watch. So definitely let us know in the comment section. Give us all your suggestions. I know there's some really obvious ones. Like Breaking Bad. Breaking Bad is something that we want to watch because Mrs. October hasn't seen it. I have seen it. Well, but I've seen the first two seasons because of... It's a long story, basically, man. We started it when we first started YouTube, and then... But I haven't finished it, so basically I've watched something, got to know the people a little bit, and know nothing else. But we're thinking about completely just rewatching that show and knocking it out, because it's a must-watch. And I, I'm excited to see it, because I want to see it with more of, like, an adult perspective on it. Because it was a long time when I seen it. I think I was probably, like, like, 18 or 19 or something crazy like that. So it's been a long time for me, and... You know, the reason we throw Breaking Bad up there is because we know the show's popular. And I don't really know that many TV shows, man. So you let us know in the comment section. More this. like more like world building ones, though, is what I, I want to watch. I want to watch like more like we've seen Last of Us. So that's we've seen that it's on Patreon. Well, um, that's a world building one, in my opinion. But I, I want to see one that are more like how do you explain it? Like Lori? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Like, Something we can get invested in. Something yeah. that has substance that we can get invested in. But honestly, I mean, at the end of the day, we just want to watch whatever, you know, the most amount of people want to watch. That's good. So uh, I think it's pretty obvious to you guys. But just let us know in the comment section what's popping right now for sure. Between season two and season one, which season is your favorite? Hmm. Season two. The The reason why I say season two, because I'm agreeing with you, I really like season one, though, because Viserys. Like, I love Viserys. He's my favorite character. But um, seeing the dragons... Right. It's cool to see in House of Dragon world because there's more of them, of course, in Game of Thrones world. We only saw three and they all kind of looked like just different colors and like size difference. Mm -hmm. But these ones are unique in their own way. And it's kind of cool how each dragon rider has like a different dragon. I don't know. I think it's I think it's cool how there's more of them. It's hard to say. Be. I think the main reason I enjoy season two more than season one is because I really like the drama with Aemon and Aegon. And I really appreciated watching Eamon rise to like, I don't know how powerful he is per se. I mean, he's just there because I didn't know. I think he's powerful because Tylen, remember, he wasn't going to march until Eamon was there with him. Well, remember? Yeah. And he did. A, but that's not true because he rode off on a ship. So I don't know. You know what I mean? I just I like seeing the progression of Eamon, I guess, yeah. you know, and. We just got more information at this point. We're further in the story along because ultimately I'm just ready to see how it's going to play out. I mean, obviously. So I really think that I think the first season was simpler in a way, but they're always there was up. a lot of, you know, there's set cool action. Going yeah. On, yeah. And I think the biggest thing for me is I enjoy season two because I really got invested in the characters and learned who they were. And in mm -hmm. the first season, it was just a little harder to keep up with everyone because there's like the, those time switches and stuff. Right. Which there still yeah. is there is still like a little but you, they're not switching characters this season so yeah i get what you're saying yeah but i'm i really do like this it, i thought after losing luceris in the first season it would be kind of like meh on team black i think it got better didn't it yeah it kind of yeah. did and i hate to say it but yeah losing luceris and viserys it's pretty it's been pretty like crazy since then maybe like i think maybe the first season is like well, I don't know. It's kind of like me and you, right? The first time we hung out, it was really fun, but I like you more now. Yeah. You know what I mean? So yeah. it's just one of those things, man. It's like a relationship, I guess. Yeah. The more invested you get, the better it is. But I mean, you know, when it's new, it's always cool, you know, but newness isn't enough to be like, hey, I like it more. So. But you don't miss like the, your grandsire demands it times. Your grandsire demands it. <laughs>
Yeah, I miss it, but yeah, I know. You know. I kind of miss like the castle drama times. These are like more open, like combat times. <laughs> yeah, I know, but and if it was only season one, I'd be missing Damon and Luigi's mansion. I'm yeah, that. <laughs> yeah, it's gonna be fun to look back at that and be like, remember that whole season Damon was in Luigi's mansion? Guys, yeah. thank you so much for tuning in, man. You guys really are the goats for real. So many of you people have been rocking with us for so long, man, watching these Game of Thrones shows and stuff so i understand that it's over so a lot of you guys need to bounce man because y'all aren't trying to watch all this other stuff i totally get it but if you guys want to hang out and continue to support us man that's totally what's up or if maybe in the future we put something out you guys want to come check out that's what's up too but uh if you do want to hang out with us and stick around with us man then definitely give us your input in the comment section drop a series down there let us know what's awesome because there's so many series that so many people love and we don't even know they exist and we want to watch like everything and possible. we're open to everything man we'll watch whatever man like just whatever you guys want to watch man so uh like comment subscribe hit us up on patreon if you guys want the full uncut reactions thank you guys so much for hanging out we'll see you on the next one